right, it's time for a spoilerific review of the final uh, episode oh. of Obi Wan. The final for now episode of Obi Wan. The final for now. I spoiler alert. I don't think there's going to be a second season. What? Yeah, you're out to lunch, dude. I don't think they're going to do it. What do you mean? They wrapped it up. They, so they, nicely no, and put a you're bow wrong. On it. We'll talk about it. Why you're wrong? But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this was season or season episode six, five. How many? Seasons? Episode six. Episode six of the Obi Wan Kenobi show. The Obi Wan Kenobi, and we'll talk about Miss Marvel right after. Yes. Um. So I liked it. Yes, this I is the big. It. This is the, sh- the the episode with the big showdown. So the really big. Show. Exactly the really big show. Um, obviously we know how it ends. Like before yes. we coming in, oh, Obi Wan yeah, lives, and Darth everybody Vader lives. lives and everybody lives. Leia lives, and Luke lives, and you know, Aunt uh, and Uncle Owen and Baru they live. <laughs> we all know this. The only thing we don't know is like, it does Reva live or does. I mean, who else might die? Nobody, really. Yeah. We know everybody else lives. Yeah, everybody else lives. So We know it. It has to be true. Exactly. I mean, I guess maybe, like, Bale Organa could die, because we never see him in episode four. All we see is Alderaan explodes. Uh, Yeah, it's true. I mean, they could kill him off. I mean, I don't think... Was he in Rogue One? Like, Bale? Oh, yeah, I don't know I don't if know. he was in Rogue One. So, anyways... It's hard to say, right? Yes. But, um, yeah, if this he is, is alive in Rogue One, he's instantly dead. Yeah. Ten minutes later. But then again, I mean, we didn't <laughs> see him. He maybe was off Alderaan on vacation or something like that. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Um, but uh, the Vader in the Star Destroyer chasing down the good guys. Yes. Obi-Wan is in like. In their little Corvette. I got to go. Let me go. He's after me. You'll be able to escape if I go. Yes. And they're like, no, Obi-Wan, don't do it. And he's like, no, I got to go. So he, he leaves. This is like two running parallel stories they got going on. Yeah. They're showing Obi-Wan. They're showing Reva. Um, Obi-Wan leaves, flies down to just some random planet. Thankfully, breathable air. Yep, it's always <laughs> breathable air. Even though it's like a like a, a friggin' asteroid, <laughs> it's got yeah. breathable air. And... uh well, maybe we'll. Why don't we talk about the Reva section? Yeah, yeah. Reva. Well, heads I guess down they end to... up. They end up being. I was gonna say we should do all Reva at once, but they sort of like. You can't talk about Reva's end unless you talk about Obi Wan's. Yeah. Fight with Darth Vader. Well, so. maybe let's talk about Obi Wan's fight with Darth Vader first. Then. Yeah. Okay. Because then, then we can finish it up. Because I they meet up later. Yeah. So. Vader comes down, and it's like the epic showdown. Yeah. Vader. Extremely epic. Is how tall is Vader? Like seven feet tall? <laughs> he's tall. I mean, he's mostly machine. Yeah. Anyway, he's taller than Obi Wan. So oh yeah. He looks. He looked way bigger than him. He always. I mean, he's always been bigger yeah. than him anyway. Um, unless you know he was Episode One. Yes. <laughs> the um, the fight was crazy. Like smashing rocks against each other and force <laughs> pushing and force yeah. pulling and like yeah, and this crazy is... swordsmanship and all that shit. Yeah, and you can tell Obi Wan's getting his. He's got his. Mo- he's got his groove back. He's got his groove back mostly. Ojo- uh, Obi Wan got his groove back. Yeah, until he gets like, oh, there's a scene where you know he goes down and Vader crushes him underneath all this rock and yeah, then, and then he goes Super Saiyan after that. Yeah, well, he's like <laughs> down there, like okay, so, I mean, I was reading on Reddit what people thought and like they were you know people on Reddit are like this show sucks, this show oh, rules yeah. whatever, but some guy said like he was like. This was like I was well, like, why did Vader just bury him? Like I don't know. He could have killed him. Like yeah, made sure of it. But someone on Reddit was like, oh, this was like he was burying his past. Oh, so like that's why you know, as uh, they that, do and as they do yeah. in like books and movies, it's yeah, like yeah. symbolism. You know, obviously he can't just kill Obi Wan. We no, know he, he definitely lives. can't. So it's like, you know. It's a symbolic thing, like he's burying his past. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, but uh, I can't remember. Is this? Does it happen before or after where they're talking? I think it was after. Yeah, it was after. Because then Obi Wan Super Saiyans his ass out of the hole, <laughs> blasts his way. He's down there and he's thinking about all this stuff, and it's just like nothing is making him want to live. You know, like he yeah. thinks of, I don't know the. I don't even remember what it all was, but there was like Flash of Leia in there and everything, and then. I, was it Leia the one that really sort of made him go like I need to get out of here? I can't remember what his last like 
flash was where he was like, okay, enough's enough. I got to climb out of this hole. Yeah. But he eventually blasts his way out. Then he catches up to Vader. They have their fights. Obi-Wan is like going ham. He's going hard. <laughs> yeah, for lack of a better word. He's not word. holding back. He's just destroying Vader. Like slashes him in the head with his lightsaber. His yeah. helmet's partially broken so you can see like. You can see Anakin's eyeballs. You can eyeballs. see Adam's, Anakin's eyeballs. And he's like talking to him like, what happened? You know, why you like this? Anakin, please. And he's like, no, no, <laughs> I'm not Anakin. I killed Anakin. <laughs> and Obi-Wan. I don't know. Did he have a single tear? I can't even remember. Yeah, a single <laughs> yeah tier? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know I if mean, he had a single tear, but he's like, I'm sorry. You know, whatever. And then he just fucking pummels him just some pummels more. Him some more. <laughs> yeah. And he, of course, I mean, these guys, Obi-Wan and Luke, like Obi-Wan already fucked up one other time. Like, I'm sure he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's next to the lava. His body's on fire. I'm sure Anakin's dead. I just don't think he can kill him. I mean, I guess not. I don't think he can kill him. I, I, it's it's not within his nature to actually kill him. He can't do but it. But even though he knows he's the greatest he is. force user of all time, and he's like a threat to the galaxy, <laughs> he's the he has him on the ropes, like he could end this galactic level threat. Eh. Yeah, I know. I was thinking I that too. I hope the he planet totally will kill, kill him. him. <laughs> I mean, I know why. Like, obviously we've said it. Yeah. He's in the other movies. They he's can't in the other it. movies, and I don't but think... But like, in a... If they're... The other movies wasn't didn't exist. This is Vader's end right here. Like Obi Wan would have taken him out for sure. Yeah, he wouldn't duplicate his greatest error of all time again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he would. Anyways, yeah, I, they had to do it to keep the plot moving. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but while this is going on, Reva in the previous right episode, she learned about Luke. Well, she learned about something on Tatooine. Yeah. So, she's. You know, let me go to Tatooine. I got to get exact my revenge on the universe here. Yeah. I enjoyed the scene where the guy cut in the line for water and it was like Obi-Wan's boss from the beginning getting his comeuppance. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you want to say something? And he, what did she do? Like a huge force push and yeah, just blasted just him? Force pushes him away. So anyways, the word gets to Uncle Owen that, hey, someone's coming for Luke. You got to get ready. Thankfully, Reva's like all fucked up. Otherwise, she would have just destroyed them all. Yeah. But she comes down to the. The moisture farm, the moisture farm at nighttime again, like I, it looks cool that she lit up her lightsaber. But like, why not just wear a giant target? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like it looks cool. But I mean, the tactical stuff in this show. I, yeah, I think it was mainly just for lighting. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looked cool as hell, but it's oh, yeah. like. Again, no no sane person would do that. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm right here. I got my lightsaber lit yeah. up. Shoot me. Yeah, all the saber effects look amazing in this show. Mm -hmm. And you, well, maybe maybe after the podcast, we'll go up and you can watch it in HDR. Oh, Because it looks yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. I looked, so I didn't even watch this on my TV in the living room. I watched this on the TV in my bedroom, which is even worse TV. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad. Yeah, Anyways. maybe after the podcast, you should watch the scene with Vader, and it's all yeah. dark because it's dark. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the the lighting is so good. We in can HDR. check that out. We can check yeah. that out. Um. Anyways, Owen and uh, Owen and Baru are like, should they, I, are they even like blasters? I think these are like gunpowder based weapons. <laughs> they be... they look like gunpowder based yeah. weapons, but they're blasters okay. for sure. So Everything they're having a fight, and you know, Reva can't really do too much. Again, she has Uncle Owen on the ropes, like grabbed him by the neck and she just throws him to the ground like she would have cut him in half <laughs> but he has to live right he has so, to live um so they defend luke runs off and like the portrayal of luke versus leia in this series like luke's only in the show for five minutes or whatever yeah and he the that's the things that he is not allowed to know much like well, they can't not, they can't yeah. make let him on that he like has seen a lightsaber or knows that he's about to die well, he I mean, can't I mean, did he see the lightsaber? He definitely, well... I don't think... I, maybe I he think, doesn't see a lightsaber. I think he does see a lightsaber, but I don't think they well, should have done that. I think because when he's running away, maybe he saw the light of it or whatever. Yeah. But, like, when she catches up to him, he's, like, knocked out. He's knocked unconscious. So he I'm doesn't like, okay, see her lightsaber. Do <laughs> because, like, in episode four, he's like, wow, what is this thing? And he's oh, got I the know. lightsaber. I know. So, yeah, this was, this was yeah. the only thing they could do, really. Yeah. But, um... Like, they show Leia 
who like Reva is trying to use her force powers on her and Leia's like just using her innate force powers that has was never shown in episodes four, five, and six, really. No. Like she might have been forced. A little bit in but six, but no. Nah. In this one she can like fight off the force will of a <laughs> a Sith. It's like, okay. Whereas Luke is just like <laughs> he's like a one of the three stooges. Like yeah. he runs and trips down a hill. Yeah. So I don't know if that's nature versus nurture. Whereas like I Leia's think, been I think it is. Not that she's been taught the force powers but she's like lived in a sort of like regimented world kind of yeah and she knows about jedi and, and yeah. stuff like that she's she's more educated than luke because yeah. luke's just like on a farm in the exactly. middle of nowhere so it looks like reva's gonna kill luke i wonder if she does it i don't know <laughs> <laughs> the tension was just so huge there yeah um but she doesn't obviously she carries luke back and brew and Oh, and get them, and they're all happy and everything. Yeah. And meanwhile, uh, Obi Wan has shown up at this point. Yeah, He's I like. Liked how, I gotta go. I liked how he flew in on his ship, landed, and like Brew and uh, Owen don't even like don't even look. <laughs> they're just still looking for Luke. Not yeah. like not even like, oh, Obi Wan's here, or like, oh crap, some other ship landed. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just assume <laughs> it's someone there to help them, or I guess I don't know. So. They're like, we, we got to find him. And then Reva comes back carrying Luke. Yeah. Puts him down and they take him. And then Obi-Wan and Reva have a heart to heart about how you're not like Vader, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Like you're. Yeah. She has a whole flashback thing of Vader killing the younglings. And Again, now she's yeah. Vader killing the young. Yeah. And yeah. She That's puts, what prevents she, her from killing Luke. Yeah. Yeah. You know? She, she, she sees projects, herself on the ground. Yeah. yeah. She projects yeah. herself into Luke and is like, I can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. So. Obi-Wan talks to her and basically is like, you know, you can determine your own path. You're not set to this path. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously she dies. She dies somewhere along the way because <laughs> we never see her again. But uh, you can see Obi-Wan is closing up his camp. His yeah, cave yeah. Camp. Yeah, this is the next day and he's closing up his his like shed camp. Yeah, thing. his like desert cave. Yeah. And he's getting ready and he finds the old spaceship of the i don't even know what kind of ship that was that he tried to give the luke i can't remember what it's called yeah and uh so he's like obviously getting ready to leave so he goes back to the the camp and wants to tell like you know owen like i'm out of here i'm out of here like me being here is not helping the situation yeah so i'm gonna go further out into the dune sea and he's like as they're going as he's getting ready to leave, Owen's like, do you want to meet him? So he gets to meet Luke. Yeah. Because Luke has to know something about Obi-Wan. Well, he needs, to know, to, he know. needs to know old Ben in the Dune yeah, Sea or ben whatever. Yeah, old Ben the Dune Sea, yeah. So I think he gives him the spaceship. He oh, does he, give oh, him the spaceship. Oh, and then, of course, fucking nerds were jacking off. And this was the climax where he's like, hello there. Because <laughs> that's like the meme thing. Of, oh, I, oh, yeah, dude. I, I cheered so hard when yeah. that happened. I was like, yes, hello there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was just like, okay, there's the climax yeah. right there. And, of course, uh, in episode four, we see Luke, when he gets the droids, flying the ship around, like, just being like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. When yeah. the moisture evaporates. I mean, I've... Farm. I don't yeah. remember. I tried so, to block episode. <laughs> you don't mean episode four. You mean, oh, is that is that in episode four? Yeah, it's episode four. When when uh, he's flying the little ship around. He's, yeah, he's just like doing a little hand movement. Like, as just get as out of Mark here. Hamill, huh? Episode. Yeah, oh, episode I don't four, remember Mark that Hamill. at all. He has the ship. I don't remember this that. Is, at this all. is when uh, he they first get the droids. Uh, C three PO is going down for his oil bath. Yeah, and. He's just like flying around telling the the droids about how he just wants to get out of there and, and go <laughs> wow, adventure. Okay. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what a little dork. <laughs> yeah, it was uh I mean, it was predictable. Oh, I mean, we ha we, we we could we always predict the outcomes, we just didn't know how they would uh, so, uh get there. The final scene, Obi-Wan's walking away. Yeah. So this is why I think season 2 is coming is Qui-Gon shows up. Yeah. And Obi-Wan's like, Qui Master, you finally sh you finally come back. And he's <laughs> yeah, like, no, I was no, like, finally, he's you there. have not been ready to see me. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you know, Obi-Wan's like, oh, okay. And Qui-Gon's like, come on, let's go. We got places to be. <laughs> and then they walk off into the sunset. This is a setup for Obi-Wan not to be on Tatooine in the next season. 
He's going to go out into the universe. He's going to do other Jedi shit. Not in Tatooine. That's that, season that two. That could be. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm hoping there is yeah, a season yeah. two, but they wrapped everything up, everything up so nicely. Yeah, but that's why the setup for season two is like, it's not going to involve Luke. It's not yeah. going to involve Leia. It'll be something we've never seen. So we don't have to be like, well, I know that this yeah, character is going to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what's going to happen. All that I know is Obi-Wan is going to live. That's all that I know about the series. Season two. There's probably going to be like, you know, the little callback to like, oh, there's Darth Vader or whatever. But yeah. like, I don't expect season two to be like Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader again. They're never going to encounter each other again <laughs> until episode four. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next time they see each other. Has to be. Where Obi-Wan, be. Well, Obi-Wan will have aged about 50 years time in five <laughs> years. He's going to look like, uh, what's his name? But uh, yeah, I, I think Obi-Wan 2 is just going to be the adventures of Obi-Wan somewhere else. Yeah, I'm hoping for it. Yeah, I for think sure. So. I mean, why would they do one season? I don't know. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Maybe just timing and the ability to have Ewan McGregor do the things. Well, he was producer, so he's... Oh, well. <laughs> so he's like... <laughs> Let's go, season two. Yeah, he's getting even more money than just <laughs> acting in it. So, yeah. like, why wouldn't he do it? I mean, it's an easy gig. Really? Like, think about it. He goes to the studio. He stands in front of a green screen for eight hours a day for four weeks. The show's done. He goes to the nerds. They add the effects. Like, it's an easy gig for him, for sure. And then all he has to do is say, hello. So maybe there's maybe there's the (laughs) the next thing, too, is like maybe there's the Vader show. Oh, the Vader show. Yeah, maybe there's a Darth Vader show. Uh, They could show what he's been doing between this part and episode four, you know? Yeah, because there's not much. I mean, they show there's the comic books and shit like that. But like for the movies, the only thing we see him in is a Rogue One. Yeah. I mean, is Vader in the Mandalorian or any of that shit? Uh, I don't think so. No. OK, so anyways, I don't f- I think every. Star Wars show is not planned for one season. Uh, yeah, I would imagine. So would Obi-Wan 2, we're going to see that 2025. Let's do it. I think so. Good. Do you like my theory? I like your theory. Thank you. I'll just roll with it. You'll just accept it? I'll accept it because I want to see more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just think the way it ended with Qui-Gon being like, we got places to go. Like, come on. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is going to be the adventures of Obi-Wan. Like, yeah. I don't some fart art three <laughs> sh- planet or whatever. You know? Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, I was like, when, when are we going to see Qui-Gon? When's Qui-Gon showing up? I figured he he'd be right in the there. End. Like, again, the easiest gig in the world. Oh, Qui-Gon, yeah. like... Liam Neeson puts on the wig, puts on a robe, stands in his bedroom, <laughs> <laughs> points a camera at himself and be like, OK, let's go. We got to go here. Yeah. So, I mean, recently Liam Neeson has been just doing whatever role comes to him. Yeah. It seems whatever so, he feels like it. Well, not even that. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to punch some more guys again. I've done this movie six times in a row now, let's but let's do, do a seventh sure. one. Sure. We're why making not? money. OK, let's go. Exactly. <laughs> so. I enjoyed it. Yes, me too. A lot of people complained about oh, it. Oh, yes. A lot of people complained about it, and I unsubscribed from them. Wow, you unsubscribed from I them? I actually, yeah, there were a couple of YouTubers I just unsubscribed from. I'm wow. Like, I'm not watching your crap anymore. Holy, what were they complaining about? Uh, I don't know. I just, just like, I just didn't even watch. Didn't I was just like, well, they're just their titles. I was like, no, nah, I'm not even clicking this. I'm just going to straight unsubscribe. Crazy. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like Reva. Shh, what a surprise. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was great. Oh, she was fantastic. I thought she did a great job. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um... They didn't like Leia being like, I mean, it's weird that she's like all of a sudden like a Jedi, basically. <laughs> but like, I thought that girl did a great job. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Ewan McGregor, great as Obi-Wan, obviously. Of course. Um, Hayden Christensen in his like two minutes of speaking was pretty good, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I could take it or leave it for him, really. Um, I appreciate it was him, but. Yeah. yeah, it was nice of them, but like, yeah, it's cool that they're doing it. But yeah, for sure. Again, it could have been anybody in. Yeah. In there. Yeah. I mean, it probably was not him fighting in there. So, well, no. I know it wasn't him. Yeah, definitely not. Um, And I mean, Owen and Brew, I thought they were good. Every, yeah. I thought, I mean, obviously there's a lot of stuff that was like, OK, like when they assaulted the what's it called? The, the Sith base and the 
<laughs> she's standing there deflecting the blaster bolts from the spaceship that's just hovering in front of her. I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> that's a little weird there. Or like when they're escaping and he's just got fucking Leia under his robe. <laughs> I was like, okay. I mean, I defended that for sure. You did, I, but I, I, see like, that I mean, I thought it was stupid, but it's not like, oh, the show's ruined because of this, you know? <laughs> yeah. I still enjoyed it up to that point. Nothing ruined the show. And if you think that it wasn't good, uh, get get bent. Yeah, the one weird thing was like Riva's parkour, her angry parkour that did nothing. <laughs> that was a little bit like, why did they do that? Like when she was running along the rooftops yeah, yeah, yeah. angrily. Episode, episode two or Yeah, one? something like that. And it was just like, what the hell was that? <laughs> no, it was like episode three, I think, because it was like in like the, the I don't know, the spaceport yeah. area. I, I mean, think I, guess was a, she, I think that was a plot device to show that she is very powerful. That she can just parkour I mean, she like She could have just flown or something like that, too. I don't know. Anyways, that was weird. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed too. it a lot. 